What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know, I'm building a drift spec Miata. My name is Nick. Now let's get into the video. Sweet, you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that introduction. I'm trying to find something a little bit more permanent and switch it up a little bit. But I think for right now, that that's gonna be the one. Getting into today's video though, I've been waiting about three weeks now to get this package. I bought it through Goodwin Racing, but as you can tell by the title, I bought a hard dog roll bar. I got the M2, or the V2, double diagonal hard dog. Um, it should be showing up here soon at my dad's, but basically the next clip will just be me and my dad's. I'll see you guys then though. All right, you guys, so we just pulled up to my dad's and look at what's over there. That big old triangle box, if you could see it. That's my package I've been waiting. So we're walking up to it right now. I'm a little excited. Here's the package. If you're not open with sharp objects, I don't know why it says that, but it's a big old triangle package. Cause it is my, does it say anywhere? Dang, I don't know if it says anywhere, if it's my roll bar. But we just got it loaded into my dad's truck. He's on his way out right now. We're gonna go take it over to my mom's house and we're gonna get it ready to be installed in the Yada. Let's get going though. Sweet. Okay, so we got the um, hardware off of the right side of the roll bar and it came with another hard dog roll bar sticker which i'm hyped on i'm really hyped on that um here's all the hardware though there's another hard dog roll bar sticker on the back of this diagonal but it's time to get the double diagonal plates or the sandwich plates sorry and last but not least focus for me the sandwich plates they go right here in this area and sandwich with this Right on that side too but once again double diagonal roll bar <laughs> let's go install this Okay, so now that that metal piece is out, I know from watching a video beforehand, like a long time ago, that you need to take this two pieces, cut it, and just straight bend it downwards so that the roll bar will actually fit back there. But besides that, I gotta take out all of this stuff and clean up back here. I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll get back okay, to you guys. you guys. So, besides the fact that I came to a little bit of a stump because I didn't have the right tool to cut a piece that I needed to cut, I also kind of got a little carried away and concentrated on what I was doing and I got farther than just cleaning up the area that I told you I was going to clean up in the last clip. This next clip I'm going to show you basically the roll bar is bolted in at two points, not all the points, but from here on I'm just going to move on to jacking it up, getting my two back tires off, drilling in the holes and bolting in the roll bar the rest of the way. Well, let's get All to right, it, you guys. So I just wanted to show you really quick that this is where I have it bolted in. It's in the stock seatbelt location. The seatbelt's now over there, obviously, as you can tell. And I have it bolted in on the same area over there. These are the two areas that I have bolted in for now just because these have, um, obviously, like, pre-threaded stuff. But I really like the way that Hard Dog um, does their stuff. I like the little things like this. It's really keeping it clean just because I'm trying to keep my interior clean. I know it's not like the most beautiful, but still I'm trying to keep it clean and you gotta appreciate little stuff like that.
Okay, you guys. So as you can tell now, I got my wheels off. I got it jacked up. After all that fast motion stuff, all I have to do is drill these three bolt holes, identical on that side, and then drill these three bolt holes. And once again, identical on that side. But basically, I wanna try to get this done before Lake 2.0. So I don't know if I'm going to video the drilling, but let's get to it. Basically, as you guys can tell though, the roll bar is in technically, and it looks really aesthetically pleasing, especially with the wing. All right, you guys. So as you can tell behind me, I've obviously got a lot done. You can tell my soft top is sitting right there. I did get it all fully connected back into the car. I ended up doing that off camera just like I did taking it off just because it was a struggle to get it back on and getting camera angles while just doing that would have been terrible, especially just because I only have myself right now. But anyways, I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to show you all the work that I've done. So you get into the car and the previous owner before me had none of the bolts across right here. Basically for my soft top, there was four bolts holding in my soft top and that was it. And they're supposed to be like around like 10, I think. But basically all I have to do now is I said in a clip before I have to cut this. It's sitting right over there, ready for me to cut. I already know where I've got to cut for the bar right here to sit. And basically besides that, I vacuumed and cleaned up all this area, um, cleaned up what I could down here. All I have bolted in though for now is just these three bolts and then I'm going to go over to my dad's get a 17 bolt these two in and then I've got obviously the ones that I told you before the seat rail bolts. I still have to, if you could see, I still have to cut those ones down here on this bar, but um, I just, I don't have a long enough drill bit or even extension to get all the way down there so I have to go over to a homie's house and get an extension or a drill bit. Moving on from that though, let's put this down. It's pretty awesome to say that I finally have a roll bar in here, especially the double diagonal. Next up, I have to get a harness bar and start getting harnesses in here and then a racing seat. I don't think that that's specifically next up. Actually, I shouldn't say that, but um, I think that at least a harness bar should be coming soon. It's back in. Obviously, I still have the two big speaker holes, but here soon or just whenever I can. Um, I should be getting a new one of these. Um, I'm going to be hitting up some homies to get a new one of these, and uh, I'll just have to redo all this cutting and stuff anyways. I definitely made that cut way too big, and I definitely don't want this giant speaker hole, as well as the carpet. The carpet that I'm going to be putting back also has these speaker holes, and I'm going to be getting a new carpet as well. I also have to cut the carpet to fit this, but let's get to that. Dang, you guys. I just want to sit here and appreciate how much work that I've put in here into this car. Getting that roll bar in was not simple. I could not exaggerate that enough. I ended up having so many things that I had to do, undo, redo, but I also didn't look at any instructions. So yeah, but I wanted to give you guys a quick front view of what the roll bar looks like with the halos and the wing. I think honestly, it really makes the car come together a lot, especially with the wing, but heck yeah, you guys. And on that note, everybody, you guys should know what it is. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe and comment. Um, basically, I hope that, other than that, I hope that I see you guys out in Lake 2 tonight, either tonight or within the five days that it's going on. It's out in Lake Tahoe. Um, if you need any more information on it, and if you don't know about it, then just go to the Lake 2 page on Instagram. It's literally just at Lake 2 This isn't a sponsorship or anything like that. I just, I just want more people to show up, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video once again. Peace.